A lot of really important partners have come together to try to help us save a butterfly that is now on the edge of extinction. The Dakota skipper used to be extremely common, kind of like a, a robin might be in the bird world, and started declining along with a lot of other species. And, and a big reason for that is prairie butterflies need prairie. If you lose the prairie, you're gonna lose the things that depend on them. I've grown up with this underdog mentality. I grew up as a, a Royals fan and a Cubs fan. And I always, you know, I always want to root for the things that are underappreciated. And I feel like prairies are one of our most endangered and totally underappreciated. The diversity that you see, and it's, it's sort of a subtle beauty. It's not an in your face, I'm a beautiful mountain. You really got to get down in it to experience it and see the beauty of it. In Minnesota, we've got less than 2% of, of native prairie remaining. They're very rare, more rare than tropical rainforests. Today we're at the Lake Benton Hole in the Mountain Prairie Preserve, owned by the Nature Conservancy. And we're down here talking today because of the release of the Dakota skippers. It's a little butterfly that few people have ever heard of, right? But really, Dakota skippers are one little piece of this disappearing ecosystem. These were skipping around these prairies for millennia before we came along. And we're bringing them back home to where they used to be. If we don't do something about it, they don't go somewhere else. They just become a, a memory of the past. We have been building towards these days for the last three years when we started bringing in eggs from these prairies here in northeastern South Dakota back to the Minnesota Zoo and growing them for three generations. That's tremendously exciting. It's also very nerve-wracking for us. So let's let Dakota skippers go. Bring them back out into the Minnesota prairies. These skippers we've been raising at the zoo now for three years. Here we go, bring them back out into the wild. For the first time in about eight years. Welcome to your new home. This has never been tried before. This is the first ever reintroduction of Dakota skippers back out into the wild. We don't know if it's gonna work. We certainly hope it will. Either way, we're going to be able to learn a lot about what will or won't work with Dakota skipper reintroductions, and that'll help us figure out the kinds of land management that need to be occurring to help promote Dakota skippers and a lot of the other wildlife that's out here at the same time. Our management and reintroduction of the Dakota skipper supports diverse pollinators and pollinators are really important to a lot of our crops as well as for our native prairies and so that's going to be really important in the future. To me this is about losing a piece of the, the prairie puzzle. Everything has a role in, in these prairies and when something's gone there, there's an open void. So this reintroduction is about filling that void and bringing awareness to prairie conservation. Getting to see those butterflies just sort of pop out of their little tubes and be released it's been a pretty awesome experience.